And I'm hoping to spirit and writing her. Hello. So this is Donna. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, thanks. So are you in a comfortable place? Um, do you do you feel pretty strongly that she's passed or do you have no idea? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of expecting the worst now just because I feel like she would have put the verse on and everything. Yeah, but I don't know. know. Um, so okay, I'll just invite her and I'll just let you I'll just let you know um when I get something. I'm just seeing her kind of shaking her hair. Um, like when you just cleaned it or something. Um, when it and I know she was a hairstylist. So, um, yeah. Um, but I'm seeing her kind of shaking her hair. Um, her little chills on the right water. Even if I see her or stuff about her, doesn't mean she's um, deceased. Because um, psychically, I could still pick stuff up too. So, and I'm seeing. You know, obviously the area out by Joshua Tree, out the area where um, she was. I'm seeing, I'm seeing kind of an interesting uh, scene. Uh, I'm just seeing her. It's like she's inside of a um, small kitchen and she's looking out. There's a small kitchen window and you can kind of see a boat. Uh, I see a boat. It's it's kind of uh, weird, like a memory maybe. I'm not sure what it is, but that's just what I'm seeing. Did you see a boat? Well, I see. I see. It's like I saw her standing at a kitchen window, and where this is, the um, the um, kitchen is like still from the 70s, probably 60s, 70s. 50s, 60s, 70s, like that. Older kitchen. And um, there's this kitchen sink, but the, the window that looks out is small. Um, smaller than uh, most windows that's covered on both sides. And then, um, uh, and it's a smaller kitchen window. I'm wondering if that was, um, it sounds like my kitchen at my old house. Oh, your kitchen of your old house? It, yeah, it could be. You know what? Sometimes the spirits will show you stuff about your life so that you know it's them. You know, stuff that you would only know. So that could be awesome. And then I'm feeling a, a place. I don't know if it's touristy, but like where I live here in San Diego, it would be a tourist place to be like that where it has a really nice walkway along the water. Um like kind of like a park type thing but the one I'm seeing here is more like it has like little shops so it's like I'm seeing a different one than the one here but then they keep overlapping it with the one here so I think it's the same kind of idea of where you go walk along the um, water front somewhere and um, it's either attached to like a park or else um, could be further down there could be a little shops I'm not 100% sure but she's just giving me this. Um, and I feel like, I don't know if that's a place you guys would have went together to walk and like, it's not to share secrets, but you know, share your just like personal stuff. Um, yeah. And I thought there, he says some kind of um, Baltimore City along the water. Yeah. So did, if you guys were like walk there and then share your like innermost, um, Secrets or innermost feelings or whatever that that she's giving me that memory. And when I say she's giving me that, also please don't just. I mean, it sounds like I'm saying she's crossed, but I think that you know, psychically, you could pick up stuff even when people are alive. So mm-hmm. it, it's really interesting that way. So I don't want to like you to jump to any conclusions just because I say that because like it feels like she's showing you this. And then, um, but it could be like, I'm just picking up psychically too. So. Um, she's kind of funny, um, her, her personality, like, okay, like, and she could, she knows when to sometimes just say like, um, okay, I'm going to take control of this now. This, this is like, I'm going to help you do this or whatever. Like a hug, 
What? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she was like that. Um, yeah, that's how she feels towards me. She's it's kind of funny. She's she's really nice. Um, she's really really nice to know, and but with just enough like spice to not be boring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. I feel like she's cutting something in half. It's like an orange or something like cutting an orange in half and giving you a piece or cutting an orange into quarters and giving you a piece like that. And then I feel like I'm seeing one of these little exacto knives. So it feels like, like if I feel like if I'm out there, sitting there, if I had an orange, I would share it like that, like, or like if I cut pieces of oranges and, and offer them to someone else or something like that. I don't want to place the two men there because, um, I know in the news it said that. It's like I, I or I just want to, um, just want to acknowledge that I know from the, the little news clips or else from someone telling me one of the two. Or she wrote in her book about these two men, James and Christian or whatever. Um, right. So, so when when I start seeing something related to that, I have to always want to acknowledge if I if I'm remembering it from um, that I'm seeing this. It just feels like she's sitting down, and um, they're standing up. I don't know. There's some significance. She's She's just offering them some food, her food or something. Share her food. What were their names again? Christian and what else? Well, you, I'm not getting that part psychically, so or else I saw on a news website. So, but so I'm just acknowledging that I'm just seeing um, the people too. And um, it just seems to be something significant to her sitting on the ground and then standing up. And she gives them food. Like, she just is calm and nice. To me, I know, I know that Christy probably said she wrote in her diary or whatever that they weren't there when she got back, indicating that they said they'd watch her stuff maybe or something. I don't know, but, um, but the interesting thing is, She's sitting on the ground and they're standing up and I don't get it because it feels unequal. It doesn't feel like they're sitting on the ground equally sharing their energy of like, you know, love and communion or whatever um, that maybe she was working for or moving towards. It doesn't feel like that. And I'm not seeing someone hurting her right now, but it just, it's, it just doesn't feel like they're on the same footing page or, um, I, I, what I'm having to do is just slow my mind because my mind's trying to reach going, show me, show me, and then it doesn't work. So, um, I'm just letting you know, I'll just give myself a minute to clear. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, you know what, this is what I want to do. Um, do you think that it would be okay, like, I'm not going to charge you any more money? Obviously. But um, um, I could tell you just, like, what's going, images going through my head, but then I could do a reading for you another time. Um, too, but, like, I'll tell you what's going on in my mind, and then, but I want to do another reading, because um, I don't feel like I can let myself see what happened to her. And, um, like, I feel like I could... To sit there and bring stuff through from her. Um, yeah. But it's like, I, I don't, for some reason, I just feel like I'm so tired of watching people get murdered, you know? Um, but, or if that's what happened, I don't even know if that's what happened. But, um, is that what you're seeing? 
No, well, I'm just so like these men, even though in there, you know, you would think by that diary that um, that um, she's like, oh, they weren't that, they weren't here. But then um, it doesn't feel like that they were ever equally uh, friend, friends with her. Like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, say if you were going to sit around a campfire and these people are really nice and we're all, like, in the same vibe, you know? It doesn't feel like that. It feels like she's sitting on the ground and they're standing and there's a reason, like, they're showing it to me like that. It's like she never had control over that situation. Um I don't know if they came back or, you know, or what, but, um, yeah, so I'd rather, like, I'll meditate, um, that's what I should do. Yeah, I'll hang up from you and I'll meditate and then I'll invite her to just show me everything and then I'll just record it if I get anything. But then, I, like, I'm not trying to charge any more money or anything like that. I'll do another reading maybe in a few days or in a week or so, uh, or a few days or something. Um, it just seems, I don't know, it just seems too, like, scary to, or, yeah, a little, that's weird. I got a little chill on my way. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know if it's, is it hard for you to listen to things about it? At this point, I've kind of disconnected a little bit because I guess I had to, but I want to know what happened. <laughs> yeah, so whatever, whatever you see or anything like that, like I want to, okay. I want to know. Do you want me to just try for a little while more with you on the phone? Because I'll still do it again. I'll still do it again until we, at least we can try to get an answer. You know what I mean? If, if I don't get it. Okay. If that, okay, okay, I'll just lay here and try. It's just like my mind starts racing and then I'm, I start going ahead. And um, But, okay, let's see. I'll just see what we get. So. I'm just worried if that there's foul play involved now. Yeah. You know? yeah um, I'm sorry. It just seemed like she was having a break, a mental break. Based on her speech, she was speaking very rapidly. She was like, saying stuff that didn't make sense. She was saying, "Yeah, no, I understand. I, yeah, I understand the stress of all everything got to her, and it, it's like it, she crashed a little, and she wanted to go out to the place to try to ground herself. And um, yeah, and um, and let's see." I'm seeing walking down a road, so I'm seeing, or I'm seeing like walking down a dirt road, and I'm seeing like a really small house, but it's like in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's like a little, I've almost like seen a Adobe type of looking shack or something. Just a, I mean, it's whatever it is, a very simple house with not much around it. it might have like a three foot high chain link fence. Um, Do you think mine have a hutch in it? No, it might have a, a three foot high chain link fence. There might be a little toddler playing in front or a little toddler toy in front of this house. This house is somehow related. I'm not, I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if the person there knows something or is somehow involved. Um, And you never know, you know, you you could be totally right. Um, I I agree that um, she she may have kind of like been going over the edge a little bit. It seems like a lot of people in America are. <laughs> right, that's what I was yeah. just trying to say. So it's like it's not so extreme for her to be think, but then but I see what you mean about the like being on a um an well, up, she was up like she uh, was, almost manic. She was having a break. Yeah, like almost yeah. manic or something. And then, yeah the, yeah, the stress of it, and then trying to go out there to kind of re, re find, find herself, reground herself, and, and let's see. So she goes there, and yeah, I just keep getting this feeling of I'm on the ground, and I'm seeing, you know, people's legs um, 
so they're not sitting down with me. They're, they're, um, because the people, the people from this deceased James guy, um, yeah, they say, oh, he probably wouldn't even know her. Well, yeah, if he just met her that day, she's just a person, but he, he, what really matters is if he knows someone named Christian. If James knows someone named Christian. Yeah. That's what matters. Yeah. But then the other thing is people use fake names too. If they're going to do harm to someone and they're not 100% yeah. sure if they're going get, to get away with it, um, they, they can just say, oh, my name is this when it's not really. Okay, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I, I see, I see. To me, to me, it feels like someone's trying to get her to get up or something. I mean, because I feel like, I personally feel like that James that where his body got found is probably the, um, yeah, and I get, I get a raise the spirit energy, but he's probably the James she's referring to in her diary. And that he was like, you know, it's like he was a witness, so got rid of him too. Like that. Um, but I don't know for sure, you know, that's just my feeling about it. Like, I would call those people and, and try to find out any of this guy's friends that he might have been with that night. Like, someone named Christian, but then just ask for any friends that he hangs around with a lot that might, because, you know, Christian could be someone's middle name. It could be, people lie about their names all the time and stuff. But, um, yeah, and then, because then I'm seeing that house again. Um, I know I'm getting things related to you, but see, I could be picking those up psychically because it's kind of like all in the energy field. And then, um, the only thing that kind of struck a chord with me was I didn't live in a shack, but my house was um, like a little a rancher, and I had a hutch in the there was a, a hutch in the house that we we just sold. Uh, oh, 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 you just sold your house yesterday? No, we sold the hutch yesterday. Oh, oh. I know you saw you saw a hutch. I got a I got a little chill. And do you, do you have like a little three foot high chain link fence around it, or or a bricket fence, or whatever they're called? Picket fence. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it's not on a dirt road. The hutch is a big hutch, but you just said hutch, and I just I just sold the hutch yesterday, and um, we have a bunch of kids, and so there's kids toys around, mm. but. I guess it's not on a dirt road. Yeah, I must see this is out in that middle of that desert. Okay. And I see that, I see it, you know the color it looks like to me? It looks like um, a pale, really super pale, in between green and blue. It's not quite turquoise, but that kind of when they used to, Kind of a blue green, um, super light color, almost sherbertish, um, blue green. And, and the, the house that you sold is not like that, right? No, no, we didn't sell the house either. Uh, oh, the house. Just, uh, <laughs> okay, because the house that I'm, um, the house that I'm seeing, it, it feels like it's way out there in the middle of nowhere where she was. And it feels like it's related to this. Um, it, it would be a super light blue that has kind of a, just a tint of green in the blue. Like you'd recognize it. And it feels like it has like a three foot high chain link fence around it. It just feels like, like there's not really greenery out there. Um, okay. And I feel like I feel like the person who lived there, like, he could have her there or he could have done something to her or he could know um, something to do with all this. And I think, I mean, it feels like it wouldn't be all that far from where this this happened. Um, 
So what might make it easy if there's not too many houses would be to see a house like that. Because it'd be like it'd be like a small one story where you can tell the people you know are pretty impoverished or don't have a lot of money at all. And um, yeah, kind of like dirt front yard type of thing. Neat. You said that the color, that's the color of the house that you're seeing? Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a blue green, but it's a super, super light color. Almost if you mix sky blue with sea foam green or something like that. Okay. Okay. You think she could still? She could be, like, she could be, but I don't know. Like, I'm just noticing about myself that I, I, um, it's hard to, like, be the one to make the call to say, you know, I really feel like she's in spirit, da 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 da. Like, um, it takes me a little while, too. That's why I'll do another reading besides this one. Um, because it's hard. It's, it's easier if people, like, found the body and they want to know what happened or whatever, but I notice I, I have a block myself because I don't want to declare someone dead and I don't want to, um, I don't want them to be dead, you know what I mean? So in my mind, I'm like, you know, maybe he's holding her there, which he could be. He very well could be, you know, um, locked her in a room or something. Or, you know, like all the, or he, or he, or he did something and he knows, like, but, I feel like it's a real clear, definite feeling of this house belongs to this person and he's related to this, what happened, like that. Oh, and you know what? If you have the phone number of the, that brother and sister-in-law and talk to them about it's not really about whether James would have known um, Erica because if he just came across their camping and want him and his friend were out tripping around, um, then that's what, that's the connection. It doesn't, you know, the real issue is who, who is James's friend? And even if he doesn't know someone named Christian, does he know someone named Chris? Does he, yeah, and who's his main friends he hangs around with? Because you'd probably have to be pretty good friends with someone if you're going to go, um, but then, you know, if the other person got paranoid and did something to him, too. But I'm not sure about, like, I'm not sure about all that, but I'm just still really sure, like, psychically sure of, of the person who knows something has lived in this house. Oh, so ask those brother and sister-in-law. I got a chill about that. Ask the brother and sister-in-law. Describe that house to them and ask them who lives in that house. They might know, and they might they might have an interest in helping you because it it may also help solve the murder of their bro- or the death of their brother or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell them that. Oh yeah, I could I could try doing a reading for them. So let's see. Okay, let's see. See, I keep getting the feeling of her being taken from the campsite, and I keep trying to not want to see that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll just let myself see that, and then see if, 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 um, let's see. Yeah, what I'm seeing, I'm, uh, what I'm seeing isn't really that good. And then, um, I, I don't know that I should even say it out loud. And, um, uh, so I'll just watch for a minute and just see. Um, you know what I think would be good to do? What I think would be good to do is if I hang up and then I just turn on my recorder and I just say everything I'm seeing without you being on the phone. Is I don't want to say these things in front of you, really. And um, and then I'll do another reading, too. Like, I could do one for that Christy lady. She's not really a friend, friend, right? I don't know if she even knows Erica, to be honest. Yeah, that's what... That, it might be good, though, because it, she won't have that level of pain that 
like if I were to say things. Like, I feel like someone's sticking dirt in her mouth and stuff like that, and it's just too much to be um, rattling off. But I think that I should do it because I feel connected to it and see where it goes, you know, with what I'm seeing. Yeah, and I got chills about that. So, um, and I could try to do another reading with you if you want, and I won't charge you anything, like, like in a week, like do another one. But I, like, are you the main one that's trying to head this thing of finding her? I see someone like stuffing dirt in her mouth. You know what I mean? These things are just horrible to see. And it, so it might be better, like, if I just, um, like, while I'm in this state with, with this energy, like, um, hang up and then put on my recorder and just re record everything I'm seeing. Um, and then I, c I don't mind doing it with you. If you think it would be better with you, like, you could do it, schedule it again in a week and do another one. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, I'm not going to... Hey, I'm not going to, it's not about money or anything. I'm not going to charge any more money. So. No, I mean, I would like to know more, more information. I mean, I mean, can you just tell me if it's, if you, it sounds like she was being tortured from what you're saying. Well, see, um, well, see, this is why, this is why I'm thinking if I, if I hang up and record it and I follow it to the end instead of trying to block it every minute, block it, like, I'm not going to say that. Right. You know, I'm not going to say that. I'm, do you know what I mean? If I just sit there and let it go, um, then... Will I be able to hear the recording when you're done? Or? Yeah, and well, that's the other thing, too, is I can tell when I'm... I can tell when I'm receiving something psychically and when I'm... Um, when I'm not. So, right. yeah. So it's like, I'll, oh, yeah. You'll be able to, for sure. Okay. All right. And then... Um, and And then... Since I'm I'm like laying in bed right now and my room's dark, I don't, I'll get I'll text you later and we can figure out a, a time for the reading. It's at least we got a couple things so that that yeah, um, it could indicate that she's in spirit. But um, I'll just I'm gonna yeah I'll hang up now and I'll spend about half an hour and I'll just whatever I see is what I'm gonna say on the recording. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye.